Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I have a flip today from hashtag art joyous sharing ATC a day. Uh, right now I'm sorry, I'm looking through my fodder book to look for an embellishment to put on the front of the little book that I created for the um, ATCs. I've decided that that seems to be the best way for me to store APCs is in a little book. Since I like making books, this is right up my alley. Um, I took some of my flowers that I drew and I colored in and then I did the um, three hole pamphlet stitch and binding for that. It's just bound in coffee dyed paper. The inside, I've just put that in to cover up, you know, cover up stuff. This is, um, the pocket folds and that I learned from Cage Fish and I found it other places on Pinterest that basically had the same type folds but I really like making these because these are very useful and I like doing small art so this is right up my alley so I wanted to go through the ones that I finished there are three that are not done yet but I'm sure with time I will get them finished so here's the first one. It, number for the first one was watercolor paper. So that's the first one I did for watercolor paper. And I, it, a lot of these are done on um, old business cards. And I've been using those for the last four or five years to do ATCs because I want to get rid of them, but I don't want to throw them away. Yeah. This one really is watercolor paper. So, And it's not glued on a business card. It's just a piece of watercolor paper that the corners are rounded. On each of the pockets, because I couldn't remember what was what, I used one of my die cuts for, um, I guess it's, it's not a tab, but it's something where you use it for a label. And I cut, I die cut all of the things out for every day for 30 days and then glued them on there and put what number it was so I could remember where to put the cards because I didn't always do them in order. All right, so here's a business card size compared to ATC size. Sorry, had a dog barking. Okay, so anyway, that was the comparison between the two size cards. This one is an embossed card, which I used um, one of those folders, and then I did it in a navy blue or dark blue, and it's hard to see the lines, but really it is, it is embossed. And then I took some stuff that I already had. I took, um, did I dry this? Oh, maybe not. I drew this on here. Are they glued on? Nope. I drew all this on. <laughs> See, it's been a while. And then I just put words that I got from a Tim Holtz sticker set. This is canvas. And this is on the back of a business card. I didn't round the corners. It says, make today count. This is, um, a stencil from my friend Carla at What If NC and I used it to make a brick wall for a planter for flowers and then I drew all the little flowers on there and did the background. Number four is a paper bag. Uh, I did a paper bag and the cathedral like stained glass looking thing is another stencil from my friend Carla at What If NC. I used that for my background. Then I um, took the flowers that I learned to make from fodder school, which I'm still in, um, and glued those on there. And then it says, nothing is simpler, beauty and grace. And that is a business card. So you, you can see the business cards because I didn't round all the corners off of them. So it's pretty well, pretty good at, you know, that's a dead giveaway. This is also a business card. It says newspaper, and there is newspaper under there. And it's hard to see on the camera, but underneath the drawing and the painting and stuff, there are words from the uh, newsprint that I used off of our local little newspaper that comes out once a week. If I could think of the name of it, I'd tell you what it is. <laughs> this is wood. I did a video on this. These are popsicle sticks. And I use the wood burner to, <laughs> to burn the sunflower on there. If you don't know, I actually like sunflowers, so that's two I put in there this time. And this is just a clear sticker. 
that was a that was a challenge to do this to uh, do the wood burning thing. I'm not very good at it, but it was enough. And I used the Tim Holtz walnut stain for the background. This one is textured heavy gesso. Again, this is another um, stencil from my friend Carla at What If NC, and I just did the background yellow, and then I stenciled the um, design on the three flowers. And then I took, I think, a sponge of some sort and went over it for the dark color so it would really catch your eye because of the yellow, the, con the you know, big contrast between the two. This one is Magazine Page, which it is. Um, and then I took, I think these are flowers that are from the Magazine Page. And then I, I took uh, words again from another Tim Holtz thing. It says, the music of my heart. I really love flowers. There you go. Day nine is stenciled. So I used, uh, first I did color on the paper. Then I did a circle stencil, and I can't tell you who it's from. Oh, wait, that's another one from Carla at What If NC. Ah, sorry. These are ATC size stencils. That's why I'm very excited about using them. Then I just drew the um, Debbie Payne inspired flowers for the interest part. Can you see the stencil? Little round circles. There you go. Number 10 is gel printed. And this is jelly paper that I had in my drawer. And then I cut it down to size, glued it onto the business card, and then I doodled over it. I, want, I think I was in a hurry that was day. I was trying to do something really simple. Book text paper. Again, this is book text just glued onto a business card. And then I, I doodled off of it. And this was one from that I got from Pinterest. And I can't remember the woman's name, but she has a... Uh, Flickr page that has all her artwork on there. Did I write on there who she is? No, but I have it somewhere else. I love these flowers. They're a lot of fun to draw. This one is music paper, and I had scrapbook paper that was music paper, and then I just did the uh, one of those uh, tangle ribbons on it. It's a lot of fun. It was another quickie day. This one is a napkin collage. Now this one's a little more complicated. I hope it stays glued on there. All right, so the napkin is a pumpkin napkin or a fall napkin that's glued over the business card. And then um, I drew, I just put the words, I love fall. But this is a shrinky dink from a stamp that I have that's a pumpkin stamp that's really huge. And it made it really small. I colored it in first then shrunk it, and then glued it on here. You can see it's plastic. It's very shiny. Um, I also put glossy accents on it because in the directions it says put the glossy accents on it on the side that's colored to preserve the color so it doesn't scratch off the shrinky dink. So that was a lot of fun. That took a long time. <laughs> All right, denim. I did not do a denim. There are a pair of jeans in the garage I could use, but I have not used them. This one is Manila. I had a Manila folder. I did a stencil from, I don't know if it's TCW. Anyway, I did a stencil that was just numbers. And then I outlined the numbers on here and wrote the number that it was, like an 8, a 7. Over here was a 3. This one was a 0. And then I had this 7 on here from a, um, this is a, you know those flashcards you had in elementary school that had the um, multiplication, addition, subtraction, addition problems on it? That's what this is from. So I cut this off so the 7 would be right in the middle. Then I put glossy accents on the 7. Number 16 is metal. And I did this one a while ago and just glued it onto... Now this one is ATC size. I glued it onto the back of the uh, business card. And it's it, it's done by hand with the um, a stylus tool. 
I don't know if you can see. And then I put that, um, I put something in there to fill up, fill it up so it would pop up. What's that called? I don't even see it on my desk anymore because I move stuff around. Anyway, um, so it, they do, it's hard to see, huh? Anyway, they stick up. This one is wallpaper. Somebody sent me a lovely piece of wallpaper and I went, I, I used it for a jelly print for an impression. And then this color is what was left over. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna mess that up because I really like that. So then I took um, a flower that I drew, or no, is this a stamp? I don't know if I drew this or it was a stamp. I know this stuff is mine. I think this might have been a stamp. And then I drew in all the other stuff on it. I can't remember. That was last month. Number 18 is cereal box. And this, <laughs> we don't eat cereal, so I did it on a safeguard soap box. And I didn't do a whole lot to it. But I colored in the blue from the safeguard and went over the pen with the, the weights over here. And then just doodled over here. Playing card, I did not have any, and I was not going to spend money to get one, so I left it blank. This is index card, which I have a lot of. There are the lines. And then these are rubber stamps that I stamped in black and I cut out. This stuff is Posca pin in the background, and then I just wrote, put some color in your life. Something I struggle with. I like black and white. So putting color on stuff makes me nervous. Envelope. This is a red, the inside of a, a business envelope that was kind of a reddish brown color. And then I just doodled on it. This one's receipt paper. And if I remember correctly, yes it is. It is a grocery bill. <laughs> but it goes this way. I saw, what, this way. I saw the design on Pinterest and I liked it. So it's right over our grocery bill from our local little chain grocery store. I don't know, is a pattern on the back the name of it? No. Why would I do that? This is Yupo or coated paper. This is photo paper that I jelly printed. And then I did doodling on the top of it with a, I think it's a white jelly roll pen. And as you can see, the doodling itself didn't stay white. It picked up some, it picked up a lot of the color from the jelly print underneath it. So it's not 100% white, white. I was kind of disappointed it turned out more white. 26 is cork. I found some scrapbook paper that looked a lot like cork. And then put, uh, I think the bottom here is deli paper where I did a simic writing in one of the things for fodder school. Oops, for fodder school and I tore it off and glued it on the bottom. This was a creation for fodder school and then these are Tim Holtz words. This is burlap. Somebody sent me and I think it was Peg Robinson sent me a tablet a burlap that you pull off and you know like watercolor paper you just pull it off and I cut it down glued it onto the back of the business card then I drew a cactus and that's supposed to be a moon and I think I should have moved my cactus over just a tad but it says daylight dreams and the funny thing was is we were on um, Art Joy Sharing Live that's on Thursdays at 10 9, 10.30 Central to noon Central and while we were there I was doing cactus and the girl who was on there did cactus stencils for Stencil Girl Chelsea Chelsea did it I thought it was funny. I was telling her I was working on a cactus right then while we were, while I was helping to mod the art joy sharing and I was making a cactus at the same time. Okay, do that. Then I did handmade paper, which I did a video on, a video hop. This handmade paper is Pampas, Pampas, Pyru, papyrus paper, sorry. And then I did the leaves from fodder school. Whoops. And then I tied some jute around it and I had these little leaves that were charms and just tied them onto the end of the string.
Then we have glitter or foil card. Now this one's really weird for the rest of them. It's a Christmas one. <laughs> It is so hot here in Texas, all I can think about is cold weather. It's 103 today. Give me a break. <laughs> so, ta-da, Christmas cold. Wishful thinking on my part. A paint chip. I had one, and I cut it up, and I ruined it, and it didn't work out, so I got nothing. Scrapbook paper. The background is scrapbook paper. This is from fodder school. And then I had a picture of this, this father and daughter. And there were other family members in the picture. They were posing for a photo, family photo. And I cut the two of them out. And it says, his heart is full of bright hopes. Then I put a, she had a little white flower on the side of her head. And I just colored it in in pink. I just thought the father and the daughter were so cute together. So I cut them out away from the rest of the family. And then the last one, which should have been the one I just showed you, I got mine out of order. So this is day 22, and this one is washi tape. So I took the um, card, and see I wrapped all the washi tape on the back, and then I had a shrinky dink that I did in a circle, and I did the stem and the leaves in shrinky dink, and boy, did, was that tedious. Then it says, life is full of beauty. So that's a shrinky dink, and you can tell it does stick up and so the leaves and the stem. So a lot of fun. It was something I'd never done before. Oh yeah, and this green is also washi tape. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Utter would be so proud of me. There is washi tape, Cindy. <laughs> I told her the other day I could get rid of it and never miss it and I thought she was going to have a heart attack. Alright, so that's all 30 days and when you make this I, you end up with 32 folders, but I didn't have anything to put in them. Maybe someday I will. And I still have the three that are unfinished in here, and I might eventually finish those three. So I'm taking my fodder book from fodder school, and I was looking to see what I wanted to glue on. I want to glue something on the front because it just looks so stinking plain, you know, except for this. That's the best part of it right there. Um, but I, I want to put something here. So I was auditioning some flowers and I wasn't really sure. I think I wanted to use this big one here. This might have been the one I started with. I don't remember. A big one, a little one, and then there was a medium size one I was going to use. Eh, maybe it was this one. And then I will put, let me put this above that one. There we go. And then I'll put on there um, AJOS and then the year with the, you know, that thing that spits the label maker. <laughs> let, me, let me just, phooey, let me just glue this down while I'm thinking about it. I have been very busy, and this is why this video is just a flip. It's because I've been trying to catch up on fodder school, which I'm still working on the month of February. And then um, I signed up for two more classes. I signed up for two more classes with Alicia Burke. And then I signed up for a class with my friend Debbie Cork from the UK, a Helen Wells class. So, you know, if I skip a week of videos, I'm very sorry. I, I've lost a couple subscribers, and I'm sorry they felt like they needed to go. But I don't always have the time it takes to make videos. This is supposed to be fun, not so that I'm stressed out about not having a video every Tuesday, which weighs heavily on my mind. So I'm vid and the reason, uh, and this is how to prove it, it is four, five o'clock in the afternoon and I'm doing a video that's got to be released at midnight tonight. So there you go. I did wait to the last minute. I had intended to do this this weekend and I piddled around with the other classes and I didn't get to it. So then let me get the label maker. And... I know I have an old label maker, but it still works and I'm not going to replace it. Let's do caps. A J O S. And then oh, undo the caps. Space. And do numbers. Where's the number key? Symbols, caps, space. Oh, I can't remember how to do the numbers. 
numbers. And it's two O oh, two two. Print. I don't know. I must be simple minded. I enjoy watching the <laughs> I enjoy watching that thing print out. I always backspace it off before I turn it off. There we go. Let's cut the scissors, scissors. You know, I had so much stuff. I, I I wish you could see. I piled everything that was on the desk. I moved it over to one side so I could film real quick. Um, my camera setup is going to change and I'm going to play around with it, but I have a new aperture coming in the mail. It says it'll be here in two days. We shall see. I think the day of two-day deliveries with Amazon is over, but we'll see. All right, so maybe I should put it right up here. Oh, you know what? I need one on the side. Oh, fiddlesticks. Let's see. Print. No, on. Just do the numbers. Two, oh, two, two. Oh, no, that says nine. Two, <laughs> ow, two, two. There we go. Print. Bing. This takes four AAA batteries. And when you run out, you go rub, you rob your controls, other controllers in the house to find batteries till you can get out and get new ones. <laughs> Actually, it was the other way around. The Roku remote ran out of batteries and I didn't have any and I didn't want to leave the house. So I came in here and took the batteries out of the printer thingy here, the P-Touch, until I could go out and buy batteries because I was not leaving the house. Let's see, let me put it up here, that way it's not on the strings. Okay, so there you have it. There's my book and it's done, except for three. And I had, I think I had a rubber band around this because um, this has some serious issues here. <laughs> Where's that rubber band? It has run off. I don't understand this. Okay, anyway, so there's the book for AJOS ATC a day, and this is on here crooked. Thank God I didn't glue that down. Okay, let's move it, make it straight. We're about a thousand here. It still looks a little crooked, but it's gonna stay there now. All right, there you got it. What? Well, it is really crooked. Wait, I can't take it. <laughs> don't tell me y'all don't do this. Now, come on. My friend says, oh, you're such a perfectionist. No, I just want to do it right. If it's crooked, it needs to be straight, unless it was meant to be crooked, which it was not. Get it on there straight this time. Ah, oh, phooey. Well, I guess that's as close as we're going to get. All right, so there it is. There's my book all finished for this year, and I will be back with another one for next year. I have something else to show you before you go, because this video is so short. No, it's not. All right, I will show this another day. I've met my 20 minute limit. Thanks for watching everybody and I hope that if you didn't participate this year you will go to the um, Art Joyous Sharing Facebook group and join the Facebook group and um, do this with everybody. Next year there are tons of beautiful ATCs way nicer than mine. Oh my gosh, this blow me away the, the variety that's up there. It's great to see other artists work. So if you don't belong, sign up and it's free. You know, this is free. And then make yourself an ATC book. They're fun. All right, everybody. I will see you next week on Tuesday. It might be another flip because I have been working hard in a uh, black and white book and I might want to show you my Alicia Burke book. Yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Sorry. See you guys later. Bye.